One of the reasons I decided to do this today is because the weather temperature got up to above freezing, about 40 degrees out there today. And uh, this was kind of frozen to the back porch out there. So since the temperature warmed up, I thought, well, it's a good opportunity to get this off the porch once it thaws out enough so that I can can and get it over in here and then uh, kind of can work on it in here a little bit, get it apart. And uh, I know that painting it, if I try to paint it while it's cold, will be a problem. And what I what might happen is uh, is I might. I don't know what I might do. You know, it might be that the final coat of paint doesn't go on here until spring. In other words, I may take it apart, coat it all down with 415 all over, and then uh, the thing about 415 is you really can't leave it out in the sunlight because sun will make the, uh, the paint kind of come. You know, 415 doesn't hold up well to sunlight. Um, it needs a it needs a top coat over the top of it. But I could put some 415 on this, throw a, uh, a sheet over it or something, leave it set until we come back. Then we come back, I can put a nice finished coat of, uh, you know, some nice paint on these arms and things like that. Sort of what I'm thinking about. Don't know if it'll exactly work out just exactly like that, but that's sort of what I'm thinking about. So I thought one of the first things I'd do today to see if these arms are going to pop off as easily as it looks like they will. Uh, so that I'll know whether or not I'm going to be able to do what I'm trying to do here, like in the way, I'm, in the, in the way that I'm proceeding. Or will I have to do something more? Uh, and I can already feel this screw is turning. Like I was hoping it wouldn't. I was hoping they'd have enough paint on there to kind of lock them in place. But uh, I got me a little fat screwdriver over here, so maybe, maybe I can get that off of there. I'll reach up right here and find that screw head. See if I can get this into it. Ooh, the door. I did set this up on my lift so that I can you know, have it not be completely down on the floor and make it a little easier to work with. There. So that arm screw that I was messing with is right here. Flipping that up that way, see, I can get into the back side of that with the screwdriver. Oh, the joy. These are those square headed nuts. Uh, these were pretty common back in the 50s for some of you young fellers. Back in those days, it's pretty common to find the square headed nuts on something that came fresh from a local hardware store. I don't know who would have made this furniture, but it looks, it looks like it's just about uh, World War II or shortly thereafter era, probably even older. The idea that it's still together and that it, it's more or less intact. Uh, somebody had redone the uh, the seats on this before I got it. Let's see, that screw is going to give me some trouble. Now, a lot of times what I'll do on them, instead of trying to get a screwdriver in that screwdriver, screw head notch, sometimes I'll take a pair of vice grips and grab that screw with the vice grips and try to hold it that way. If I can get enough grip on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a fat, fatter headed screwdriver. What do you 
the other things I'm going to be working with when I'm trying to do this is it's cold enough so that you don't have to be out here for just a little while before it's too cold on your nose and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go this way. That screw isn't really rusty, it's just uh, it's just literally layered in paint, which is actually a pretty good thing because the paint preserved it from rusting out. If those two screws were rusted together, they'd be a lot harder to get off than they are. As it is, it's about like trying to stir peanut butter. You know, it doesn't want to turn, but at least they're not welded, rust welded together. I got a broken window right there that be kind of nice to fix. I was just thinking the other day I was out here closing this thing up and talking about insulation. It didn't even occur to me that I got a broken window right there that could stand to be fixed. That would help to keep out a lot of cold air. I did that. Fatter headed screwdriver than that. 